This is the Microlux 7x16 true inch mini lathe. Has a 500 watt brushless DC motor and is belt driven, a very quiet operation. Um, has a 16 inch capacity from between centers from headstock to tailstock and a 7 inch swing over the bed. Has um, 20 thousandths per inch lead screws, sorry, 20 thread per inch lead screws in the compound and cross slide with 50 thousandth inch calibrated dials um, in 1 thousandth inch increments. It has the cam action tailstock, which allows you to quickly adjust the position of the tailstock and lock it down. It has the ability to cut threading, uh, 18 different thread pitches with, by changing out the, the gearing in the gearbox. It also has power feed for when you're cutting, you don't want to have to turn the machine manually up and down. You can engage the power feed and have it, the carriage move by itself. It has forward and reverse of the, the chuck rotation. You can cut reverse threads in it and a variable speed, electronically variable speed. The electronics in here maintain the full torque of the motor even at the low speed settings. So you can adjust the speed from zero to 2500 RPMs. Um, and also you have, on the power feed, you can have a forward to reverse and neutral position on the power feed for, again, cutting reverse threads. Okay, the compound rust can be adjusted for cutting tapers by loosening two screws that lock it. You could then rotate the compound rust from zero to 40 degrees to either side and then lock it in at whatever position you wanted. For cutting short tapers on a piece. The calibrated hand wheels, or calibrated dials rather, are zero resettable, so at any point you want to zero it out, you can rotate it by hand and then pick up your movement from there to get an exact measurement of how, how deep of a cut you're making. And that's on both the, comp, the cross feed and the compound feed. This lever here engages or disengages the half nuts onto the, the feed screw for engaging on a power feed or disengaging and doing a manual feed with the hand wheel. Also right here you can see is the thread cutting dial which when it's under power feed, that would be rotating until I locked in on it and then it would stop at whatever position I locked in the half nuts. Okay, the tailstock has a calibrated barrel for drilling into a work piece. It's calibrated up to one and a half inches so you can advance your drill into your work piece and it can be locked at any position like, like that around the back of the tail stock is the cam lock lever uh, in the gearbox you're able to change out the gears to come up with different movement for cutting different threads per inch as I said, uh, there's 18 different thread per inches it, the machine will cut with the included gears. Also, this is where you would engage or disengage the power feed from the spindle. Um, the machine is belt driven. You can see the motor at the bottom here with the timing belt comes up behind this piece and is powering the spindle. Makes for very quiet operation. This lever would disengage. This lever disengages or 
engages in forward or reverse the rotation of the feed screw and, and therefore the movement of the carriage, whether it's going towards the headstock or away from the headstock. It has three positions, there are three detents in the back that you would lock into. So when this machine's running, it's not engaging any of these gears or engaging with the forward movement of the feed screw or with the reverse movement of the feed screw. Okay, that was just a quick overview of the Microlux TrueInch 7x16 variable speed mini lathe. We'll see you next time.